Hey everybody, welcome. So, a couple quick things. I want to do a quick video on how to patch vinyl on your car. Uh, so one thing I noticed right off the bat was uh, the fact that there are no YouTube videos on this. At least I couldn't find any. It was driving me nuts. They all want to just replace the whole panel, which I get it. Like, sometimes you want to replace the whole panel, right? But, um, I mean, sometimes you don't. So what it is, I went on uh, eBay, I got uh, 3M Satin Perfect Blue, which is the vinyl. Um, I cut out an area um, of it after uh, getting it and uh, basically tried to match that area to the car itself, right? Um, so that it would cover this huge blemish um, that is on the wrap that was caused by, by me brushing up against the garage door like an idiot. So. Um, I went in and cut the piece out and matched it so that it would basically cover the whole area that was uh, that would, uh, got screwed up and um, I placed, basically peeled off the back and started applying it so here you can see I'm kind of just applying the vinyl on top of the uh, old vinyl and I have a little lip on the left there um, and that actually goes around the fog light um, and you, you Whenever you can, you want to have those kind of lips so that um, it, uh, as you're driving down the highway and everything else, um, it's the, the the wrap itself is kind of tucked away and secured um, to um, uh, to the body. So um, I'm applying the wrap right here, and you can see I'm not really doing a very good job because I'm not a professional at all and um, this is kind of a process that takes a while you want to have a blow dryer uh, ready so that you can kind of um, manipulate the wrap a little bit easier and I ended up actually redoing some of this because later on I kind of pulled it toward the edges and it's usually what you want to do so what I'm doing right now is really not that great but as you can see before it looked like this and after it looks like that so again is it perfect? No but it's way better if you look at side by side I mean the one on the right is not even noticeable when you're when you're driving I mean it, it looks good it looks fine um, and again did not have to pay three hundred fifty dollars not have to pay five hundred dollars for the, the place to redo the whole panel I just did it myself for 17 bucks and here's another area so I, I chipped it you know pulling some luggage out of the out of the back I chipped it and um, what I did is I cut a little extra piece and um, big enough so it would cover the whole area and then I slapped it over the the uh, the, the chipped area and then I used the blow dryer that's it so I mean whatever it, it, it looks again is it perfect no but it's way way cheaper than replacing the panel um, and still looks pretty good and this is a another um, you know door door ding door scratch um, on the uh, right side of the car <clears throat> and it's noticeable right so what I did is I cut a little strip out and I put the strip over that scratched area and then I took the, the blow dryer and um, I heated it up and again yes you can see it if you zoom way in you can see that there's a strip there but overall not too bad um, it looks way better and it's not noticeable from you know unless you get within a few inches of the car so um, several improvements there if you see on the right you can see a little ding in the actual door what I did is I put a little strip and I fixed that as well so you can see right there that was another little door chip and I've got a little strip of the uh, the vinyl wrap and I just wrapped over it and then used the, the uh, blow dryer to heat it up and keep that adherence so anyway just wanted to run through this and let you know yes you can patch vinyl it's been a couple weeks now and it's holding up just fine so um, thank you <laughs>